just that one tiny detail changed my entire life. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caitlin Hill, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and like and share this video. I think people often think with the law of attraction or with manifesting that it has to do with manifesting items or things, but a lot of it can also have to do with calling in and bringing in feelings. Your viewpoint and your perspective and making it a choice to see good in things and to believe that things are always getting better and better. You know, kind of having that attitude of the best is yet to come. Making a really simple shift in our perspective can actually change our reality. It's not like our society has been created or built in this way where we are, that comes easily to us. A lot of the time people want to talk about negative things or they want to, yeah, misery loves company, to bond in, in, when things are really hard and to just continue to talk about that. But I've had a shift and I wanna share that shift. So when I initially found out that I was having twins and that I was pregnant with twins, I was really upset because I'd already had one child and I and I felt, you know, comparing the two, like comparing, already making that comparison between having two babies at once and having one baby at once, like it's just, you know, from that perspective was already putting this like negative connotation on having twins and then from there you know the narrative was is always twins are hard twins are hard twins are hard twins are difficult it's not going to be easy you know that's very much the narrative around it so basically found out right off the bat like when I when I found out right off the bat I was like already upset and I was scared and I knew that it was going to be really hard and all of that stuff was true to some extent I'm not trying to take away from the fact that it did feel difficult to me at the time and there were challenging moments in the beginning, I was sort of retelling this negative story like, oh my God, I'm gonna have twins, it's gonna be hard. I was retelling this negative story about my life and without even realizing it. And I think we do that all the time. We say things about ourselves like, oh, well, I always do that. Well, of course that happened to me because that always happens to me. And so we're, it's like, well, yeah, of course, if you always think that that's going to happen to you, then that's always what's going to happen to you. Or if you think that uh, something is going to be a certain way, then of course it's going to be that certain way because that's the lens in which you are looking at it through. I had the babies and yeah, it it's definitely more work, double losing of the sleep, you know, double tandem breastfeeding we were going through a pandemic for two years where we weren't allowed to see people you know during my pregnancy during a time when it's so important to have community and connection suddenly it was like oh well don't see anyone then once I had the twins like I had just this like incredible home birth and I had honestly really truly had manifested that birth 100% we're always manifesting our lives whether we're doing it consciously or unconsciously you are always attracting something whether you're attracting something that you want or something that you don't don't want. So I definitely attracted that birth. I'd been thinking about that birth for since I had my first daughter. So it had been three years of manifesting and visualizing and imagining giving birth. Um, I didn't know it was going to be to twins, but in the particular spot that I gave birth, I had full blown visualizations around it and knew that it was going to happen that way. And I had such a magical experience with it. And I'm just talking about me here, people. I'm talking about just my own experience. I'm not trying to take away from anyone else's like experience with having twins or I'm definitely not recommending anyone have a home birth with twins. So yeah, I manifested and, and used the law of attraction for that part of it. And once the twins were here and arrived, it was like I'd already gone into that negative thinking about twins because like that's all that there is about twins in the media especially in social media, that's all you ever hear about it. And it's like, just that twins are hard, twins are difficult. So you started off the journey with that perspective. And of course, there's some things that you can't do with twins, with multiples. Like with one baby, yeah, sure, you take, you take them to the swimming pool by yourself. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's a little bit hard, but with multiples, you can't go swimming by yourself with two babies. Again, with that comparison between one and two, it is more challenging, it is, a different experience definitely but basically it felt like it was continuing to get more and more and more and more difficult and it was almost like that was my mantra actually in my head was that twins are hard this is difficult my life is hard my life this is hard and that was just the narrative that I had created for myself so then when they were about 17 18 months old I think that was in the summer that was kind of like my breaking point where it just felt like 
everything was so challenging and any opportunity that I had to talk about how difficult it was, I would take that opportunity. So it was like almost every conversation I was having was just talking about, oh my God, twins are so hard. And it was almost like I was making myself the victim of ha ha being chosen to be a twin mom. And so, you know, I was continuing on this narrative. Anytime I had the oppor opportunity to talk to another twin mom, you know, I would repeat the same story. I would be like, oh my gosh, isn't this horrible? It's so hard, what do I do, what do we do? And continuing on and perpetuating this, this narrative time and time again of always bringing it up. And I think it is really important to acknowledge something when it is really difficult or if it is really difficult because you're acknowledging it, you're saying it out loud, it's not something that you're keeping inside of your body, you're having that connection time, but don't live there. You know, get it out, say what you need to say, and then release it and move on, you know? And so it was sort of like, I was actually just like living there in this mantra of, of that twins are hard. I had this breaking point. Actually, one of my old bosses sent me a podcast and it was really life-changing. She sent it to me. She said, I can't believe I'm sending this to you, but I feel like you need to listen to this. And basically it was about this woman who went through a really similar story, how what we talk about and, and what we choose to focus on is what gets amplified in our lives. And her story was actually particularly about twins as well. And she had this really negative story around having twins and constantly kept the story alive by continuing to retell it and to want to connect with people based on the fact that having twins was difficult. So I listened to it and it was just like a really life-changing moment for me. And I thought to myself, you know what, from this point forward, I'm going to see things through a different lens. I'm going to have a different perspective about this. And so from that point forward, I basically decided to not speak negatively about having twins anymore, which is really hard because it's like, sometimes it is challenging and I just need to like get it off my chest, say it, and then, you know move on but I was like no I'm gonna make a conscious choice not to talk about it yeah from that point forward decided to to have a different movie playing in my head I just chose to shift my belief around it that was all that I chose to shift and from that day forward my experience has been completely different I no longer feel like I'm suffocating or overwhelmed or oh my god I can't do this I haven't had that feeling once and the only thing that changed was my belief I wrote out a mantra to myself and at first it was you know it was difficult for me to even write something down because I was just like I don't even know how to write something that's like the opposite of what I'm feeling right now but I wrote down how I wanted to feel I mean one of the mantras that I have that goes through my head all the time is it's getting better and better every moment every day is just getting easier and easier I am more than capable of handling anything that comes up I am here now enjoying this moment I my family is a joy. My kids are a joy to raise and I am so blessed that I am able to be their mother. And continuing that mantra and continuing, you know, just the thoughts around that, like I am so blessed. Rather than being like, this is so hard. It was like, since I was focusing on something else, that's what amplified. It wasn't all of the horrible, hard, challenging stuff that amplified. It was my how amazing it was that continued to amplify amplify and that's how it's continued to be so easy and I mean that in the the just the truest way like it just yes of course there are moments where it's like whoa what's going on here but because I hold a different vibration around it it doesn't feel hard anymore and yeah, there still are things that I won't do and can't do with with um, two babies that are, you know, they're almost two years old. So it's not like I would just go for a walk with them in the street. You know, I know that they would be running in opposite directions. You know, I just need to arrange the care to have someone else with me if we're going to be going for a walk or making sure that there's going to be someone else at the house when I'm putting them down to sleep. That just comes along with the abundance of having twins and the beauty of it. It's not like a negative bad thing. It doesn't have to be seen that way. I don't have to be a victim to this mentality of 
that it has to be hard and that it's hard because I was actually just making my experience more difficult on myself. It's a very powerful and magical tool and it seems so simple that it's hard to believe and even to believe that it could work or that it could be true. But I really truly believe that if we could all just accept what's happening to us in our lives and always think, I am making the best of this no matter what, you know, and no matter what comes my way, I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, the best is yet to come. That's a great vibra vibration to be in. And that's the vibration that I'm choosing to be in now. Having kids that are little, it's so fast, it's so fleeting. Like my daughter Safia, she's turning five next Monday. I mean, it just goes by so fast. And I just wanna be here and enjoy every moment. And again, I wanna say that's not taking away from the challenging moments. I'm not trying to do that or to say, oh my gosh, don't even think about it, just ignore it. Acknowledge it, but don't live there and allow yourself to see things in a different way. So that is the love that I wanna share and that's the message that I wanna share. And I hope that if you are a mother of multiples or you're a family of multiples, that this helped you in some way and that maybe you could see things in a different light as well. And I'm sending so much light and love on your journey wherever you're at. And I can't wait to see you next week. Ciao for now. Mwah.